So today we're taking a look at the brand new Sony SRS XB100. This is their latest ultra compact portable Bluetooth speaker. And we're going to compare it to a crowd favorite, the JBL Clip 4. There's definitely a few reasons that you would want to go with the XB100 over the Clip 4, starting with the price. It comes in at 60 bucks compared to 80 bucks for the Clip 4. Now, one thing that makes the Clip 4 so popular is the built-in carabiner clip. So you can easily attach this to your favorite travel bag and take it with you on the go. Instead of a clip, the XB100 has a built-in strap, which you can use to do the exact same thing. And the strap is also larger in size compared to the clip on the Clip 4. So you have a little bit more versatility as far as what you could attach the speaker to. Now the XB100 is IP67 dust and water resistant, same as the Clip 4. So if it gets wet, if it gets a little dirty, gets a little dusty here and there, it's not going to harm the speaker. So feel free to take it to the beach, throw it around in the sand, take it camping, take it on a fishing trip. You can pretty much take it wherever you want without fear of damage. So both speakers have a nice rugged build, so they'll stand up pretty well to wear and tear over time. Now, one clear advantage that you get with the XB100 over the Clip 4 is battery life. You're going to get roughly 16 hours on a full charge compared to 10 hours with the Clip 4. Like I always tell you guys, that depends heavily on how you use the speaker. So things like volume level will impact those numbers. But overall, you're going to get better battery performance from the XB100. As far as phone calls, one thing that limits the Clip 4 is the fact that it doesn't have a built-in microphone. So if you're enjoying your music and all of a sudden you get a phone call, you don't have the option of staying connected to the speaker and answering the call. With the XB100, you do have a built-in microphone. So if you do get a call when you're enjoying your music, you can stay connected to the speaker, take the call, and as soon as that's done, you can immediately go back to enjoying your music. All right, so this is a microphone test using the XB100. So I'm just gonna set this down in front of me here, just a couple of feet between me and the speaker. So this should give you a general idea as to how you would sound if you choose to use this as a speakerphone. As far as controls, you have easily accessible buttons on each speaker. However, one small detail you may or may not care about when it comes to the Sony XB100 is the fact that you can play and pause you can adjust your volume, you can advance to the next track, and you can reverse to the previous track. With the Clip 4, you can play and pause, adjust your volume, advance to the next track, but you don't have the option to go back to the previous track. So again, very small detail, but for some of you, that might make a difference. So one thing JBL is known for when it comes to their Bluetooth speakers is their party boost technology. So this means you can pair multiple JBL speakers together. However, the Clip 4 is not included in JBL's Party Boost lineup. With the XB100, you can purchase two of these and pair them together for stereo sound. So that's definitely one of the key advantages over the Clip 4. Now, when it comes to sound quality, which is the most important aspect, these speakers do have a completely different setup. With the XB100, you have an upward facing, full range driver, as well as a passive radiator down towards the bottom of the speaker. With the Clip 4, you just have a single full range driver. Now we're gonna get to a sound test here in a second, but as far as the sound, in my opinion, the JBL definitely has a brighter and a louder sound. And the Sony has more of a mellow, balanced type of sound. And that's pretty much the case when you compare any JBL and Sony speaker. Now, I don't think anyone's buying either of these speakers specifically for their bass, but I do think the XB100 does have slightly more bass response, and I'm sure that's because of the passive radiator that you have down towards the bottom of the speaker. So when it comes to actually using these speakers, I do like the fact that you can take the XB100 and set it directly on a flat surface. It even has a nice rubber coating on the bottom to give it some texture to keep it planted when you are playing music. With the Clip 4, assuming you don't have it attached to anything, you simply have to lay it on its back. So let's go ahead and get into the sound test. So normally when it comes to the Clip 4, 
what I would do is prop this up against something and have it aiming directly towards the camera. But that's not actually realistic because if someone's listening to the speaker on a table or a desktop, chances are they're simply going to have it laying on its back. So for this sound test, that's exactly what I'm going to do to give you a more accurate representation of the sound between these two speakers. So that covers it for today's video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.